Hey guys, just going to do a quick how-to video on Inventor 2023. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and drop a comment for any requests for videos. Thanks for watching. So we're going to start a new drawing. We're going to do it out of 5mm aluminium, but we don't have a preset made yet, so just select whatever you've already got made. Go sheet metal defaults, edit your sheet metal rule. So we're going to change the thickness to 5mm. Material, aluminium, and we're going to change the bend radius to 0 0.01, and then the corner should be tear, bend should be tear. That's it. Save and close. Now we're going to start a sketch. We're going to pick this bottom plane. We're going to do a two-point center rectangle. So we're going to do 1800 by 7, 1700, that's the overall size, but we're going to do it in half. So we want 1695, so that's one of the metal thicknesses taken off, by 900. Finish your sketch, and add the face to it. Apply, and then that's it. So we're going to now select flange. And go these bottom two and change the corner gap size to 0.8 and then the length of it we're going to do 30 mil and then apply so then again on the bottom this time we're going to go the value 10 degrees we're going to go 50 mil and just make sure that you've got your gap 0.8 and then these bottom two are going to go 80 degrees. I'm just going to do the distance 15 mil. And then apply. So that's that. So now we're going to put some slots in the side of it, just for some mounting points or whatever. So we're going to go new sketch, from the sender we're going to go say 100mm. And we'll just say 15mm hole, do whatever you want. Then we'll go another 15 mil hole. Say 25, uh, 25 mil bar, 20 mil bar. So X to trim so we'll just say 250 is how far apart we want them it's how far apart we want them just go from the center, put a line, 250 out. Now we just want to copy. So we're just going to select the outside profile. And then from the base point, we're going to select here. We'll do that again, go copy. Select the outsides, but also select these middle ones. And now, base point from the end. So I'm just going to copy them across. Like that. Now, just 
could just delete all this other stuff out. You don't have to, but whatever. Now, finish your sketch. And cut them all out. So just select each one, select cut, and select each one. Then we're going to go through the thickness and just cut normal. Okay. There's some mounting points. So we're just going to create the infill for the back of the tray. Going to go new, 5mm aluminium, create. So it's going to go start sketch, select your plane, and then two point center rectangle. Now we're going to go um, 1790 by, by 80. your sketch and add the face to it, apply. Now I'm just going to quickly go new. I'm just going to go down to assembly, standard millimeters, create. Now I'm just going to insert some parts, place some components. Wherever you saved them, so I'm just going to put it down anywhere, and then I'm going to go up here and mirror, select it, mirror plane. So the X, Y plane, and next, OK. There it is. Now we're just going to constrain it. So up here to your constraint. Going to go mate, select this edge, and this edge, apply, and then flush mate. So this edge. This edge, apply. You can also just do this one, this one, apply. Now, place your other component. We didn't save it, so file, save as. Save, then back to your assembly. We're going to place the component. And same thing, we're going to constrain it. So we're going to select mate, bottom of that, to the bottom of this, apply. And then the same constraint from the edge of that to the inside of your tray. Apply. And then the same one again. The inside of your infill to the edge of the tray. And apply.
we're just going to measure what we've got down here. So M to measure. So we're about 5 mil. So we'll just say go 6 mil shorter. So right click, edit sketch, 74. And finish your sketch. And save it. Come back to your assembly. And that should be it. Now we're going to go back to this one. We're going to right click here and go new sketch. We're going to go 25 down and 170 degrees. So tab 170 degrees and just fill it in. So trim it back, X to trim. Finish your sketch and then cut it out. So the thickness, cut normal. Okay. So now we're gonna mirror the cut. So mirror, select your cut and then your XY plane and then okay. And it should mirror the other side. So that's that. And just put the cut in. And we'll just go back to this if you want. Right click, new sketch. Just go 10 mil, and then 5 mil up, and then straight across. Fill it in, X to trim, and you finish your sketch, and then select cut, cut thickness, cut normal, okay, and then same thing, mirror, select your cut, and then the X Y plane, okay. save it that should just be cut out there so that's the infill done